about you getting into a new home, sir. Why are we talking today? I don't know. You called me. That's a good, you know, good point. But I have your number here. Maybe there's, maybe you contacted me because you're, you're not, you must own a very nice home already right now, sir, right? You're not renting, are you? Yeah, I do. I own a house, but, but it's not for sale. Oh, okay. Well, you just switched gears on me. First you were a buyer, now you're a seller. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Even for a gut salesman, that's tough. I'm, I'm, I'm so used to that, that type of call, that type of, of, of objection, because like, we're calling sellers all day. People that are, I mean, we're calling homeowners that are not, they don't know their house is for sale. So that's oh, why. Sir. Oh my gosh. Where did, did you know your house is for sale? Well, I thought, why did I think your house is for sale, sir? I, I mean, I don't know, Club. You I called guess. me. I mean, it wasn't listed somewhere. You didn't have a. You, you didn't. Uh, uh, gee, I'm really sorry to have bothered you. Or anything? Let me ask you this. You're, this is your home, though, right? On 121 Main Street. Yes, it is, but it's oh, not oh. for sale. Oh, it is. it is. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. You're living in it yourself, or it's an investment property? Before I go. Well, it it is. I own the house. I don't live there. I live in uh, you know in San Diego, but. You know, good like, for you. Good for you. So you have a house in Miami, but you but you live in San Diego. How does is it different? Uh, quick question, sir, before I go. And I really appreciate you sharing your knowledge here with me. I learned from other people. How do you manage a house three thousand miles away? Isn't that difficult? Yeah, sometimes sometimes can be can be a little challenging. But uh, I mean, right now we're fixing it up, and we're gonna put it back in the market. So we'll call you at some time. You know, maybe five months from now. Well, how, you wouldn't want to sell it today, even though it won't be finished for five months. You wouldn't want to do a contract and save yourself all the time, expense of marketing and contacting realtors and showing it to a lot of looky-loos. You wouldn't want to do a deal today subject to it being repaired, would you? Show me the money. I'm sorry? Show I'm, me I'm, the money. How much is your I, offer? I, you know, be, how much would you like? I got to check here. Is Bosans with two S's or three? Actually, three, two in the middle, one in the end. Okay, but I want to make it sure it's right when I do the check. How much do you need to make you happy, sir? 300000 not a penny yeah. less. And if I sent you a contract for 300000 today, you wouldn't say yes, would you? I would say yes. You got what? my business. Oh, okay. Off the role play, I may not want to pay that price, but what did I just move, where did I just move him up? He was a four and you move it to a seven. I, move, I got him up the yes ladder. Even if you know you can't do the deal, isn't it good to practice these skills, getting yeses, getting commitments, establishing uh, a rapport or relationship with people, that familiarity you want? Even when you know you can't do a deal, you should still practice these skills because they're fun and they keep your ego and your confidence really high because you know exactly what you're doing. Your biggest problem is you're going to be laughing. And if you're on video, you're going to be smiling. To <laughs> you can't do that. Okay, you got to say so, but this is a good way to practice all the time. Sales is a skill that I think diminishes unless you, unless you replenish the well uh, all the time. You got to constantly do it. Let's do something.